What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and in today's video we are going to be going over Anthem's brand new Elysium Caches. Now the Elysium Caches are part of Anthem's new 1.0.4 update or 104 update and I will be doing a video a little bit later on tonight about what all the patch included. But as of right now we're going to be covering the Elysium Caches, how to get them and my thoughts on them. Now the Elysium Keys are pretty easy to get but you will only get one of them a day. So basically the core concept concept of the Elysium caches and Elysium keys is to, well, first thing you do when you log in every day is to go get them. How do you get them though? Well, you'll go over to Lucky Jack's table and there will be the Daily Hourglass. Now the Daily Hourglass will of course have all of your dailies listed off and all of them, not just one or two at a time, thanks to the new 104 update. What you will do from there is you will go and find the one that has this little blue cyan key on it. In order to get today's key, I had to do two contracts and they were just regular old contracts, so I grabbed my buddy Grim Slinger and we went and did them. Now, if you were worried about your activity not contributing to you getting the Elysium key, don't worry at all. Simply go back to Lucky Jack's table, go to the daily, and see if it has indeed progressed it. In my case, a random mission ended up doing it, so I went back and did another. I went back to go check one more time to make sure that it was all said and done. The daily no longer existed, and I had the key in my upper left-hand corner of my screen. And it's actually pretty simple to use the key. Simply boot up the stronghold at any variation, so it can be easy, hard, normal, whatever. I did a GM2 stronghold with Grim. We beat it, we completed Tyrant Mine, we defeated the boss, and then we got to our chest. Now, before I show what I got in the chest and my thoughts on the chest, I will say I did notice a significant increase to the overall drop rates of the stronghold. So uh, not only did the boss uh, drop a lot more, but the chest dropped a lot more too. For instance, I got Masterwork Embers and a few rare and epic embers, which were whatever, but it was good to see that Masterwork Embers are dropping and it's very good to see that we're having higher drop rates with the chests. Really pleased with that. However, let's go back to the Elysium Caches. After you defeat the boss, the boss will die. You'll fly over instead of the one, two, three, we're getting you out of here thing. Uh, it'll be a few more seconds, like 10 or 15 seconds, I think. And you'll fly over to the caches. You'll open them up if you have a key. You'll select the one that you want. And hopefully the members of your team will also have a key. That way you can get four items or up to four items rather than just your one. So in my party, I had Grim, who was one of my buddies. And then I had two randos. One of the randos ended up having a key. The other one did not. So I went over and claimed my three triangular Ingram things. From there, it's actually pretty simple. Go to the end of Expedition screen, skip over all the additional XP that you got, and you will be seeing where it kind of opens up and it'll show you what you got. Now, if you get a vinyl, it won't show you the vinyl, but it'll give you the description. And if you'll notice in the background, there are a lot of materials there that I am absolutely dying to get, and I think I eyed my Dragon Scale armor. It does kind of stink that they don't have the vinyl's, I don't know, uh, icon right there, but whatever. And you will also have the opportunity to get materials, crafting materials, not armor materials, which <laughs> I'll give you my thoughts on that in a minute. From there, just head over to your forge and take a look at your new vinyls, emotes, arrival animations, whatever else you may have gotten. Now, there was a slight bug when I got to the forge. I had to log out and log back in to get all of my vinyls, and uh, which is fine. It was whatever. But I was really underwhelmed with the ones that I got. I got two grabbits, and the first one was kind of a cool little rabbit decal on my helmet. Really small, but I suppose if it was any larger, it wouldn't technically be a decal. And the other one was <laughs> less than stellar. Another grabbit one that gave a small grabbit on the helmet that was hardly noticeable, and then a little pauldron decal on the side. I was really underwhelmed with them, but that's fine. You gotta have some, I guess, lesser quality ones in there with the higher quality. Funny enough, though, if I got, say, the grabbit ones, my buddy Grimslinger did not. He ended up getting two different vinyls altogether, and I guess he would have had the potential to also get emotes as well. Now, there was one thing that did kind of frustrate me, and it was getting crafting materials from it. I would have rather gotten Ember than the crafting materials, and granted, it was at a slightly higher level than what I would have gotten if I went to free play, but I don't know. I think they were padding it a little bit. So you see that there was like 116 remaining items. There are only 67 cosmetics in there. So that means a good number of your possible rewards, I guess, can be crafting materials or Ember drops or what have you. You, which isn't my favorite thing, but whatever. I guess they had to pad it somehow. So essentially, it'll take you a few weeks to get these rewards, and I guess it's kind of a way for them to have you come back and keep playing for an hour or two every day to get your Elysium Cache, and then if you want, keep on playing or just log off. Overall, I'm glad the Elysium Caches came, but I don't know. My first impressions are kind of underwhelming. But there you have it, freelancers. That's the basics of the Elysium Caches. Let me know what you all got in the description below, and tell me what you all think of this new style of video. This video 
was not scripted. This is just hot micing and what my thoughts are from the get-go, my initial thoughts. Saves me about 30 minutes of having to script out the video. It allows me to have less of a filter, I suppose, and give my real and true and honest thoughts instead of having to script it and be kind of conservative with what I'm going to say. But let me know what you all think of it in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you can imagine. And to my patrons, a very special thank you to you all. Your monumental support and donations go a really, really long way to helping me maintain the quality of the content we produce here on Your Anthem. And for that, I am forever humbled and grateful to you all. Seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day as always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. And remember, freelancers, we are strong alone, but we are stronger together. Thank you.